YouTube, let's get, get, get back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gal. And today, in front of us, we have a monster. I want to start the video by saying thanks to The Hobby Shop, Stockbridge, Georgia, to let me do an unboxing on this truck. Um, it's not mine. I'm not purchasing it. I'm just doing a quick unboxing and giving it right back to them. Um, but I am very excited about this truck. I've uh, been hearing a couple of rumors for the last few days. And I kind of was like, uh, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. I don't know about it. But right about now, I kind of want one of these things. <laughs> so with no further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, let's rock and roll. Today, we have the Axial SCX6. Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon 1.6 scale electric four-wheel drive RTR crawler. This is a 1.6 scale. Um, awesome. It has a 1200 kV brushless motor. It has a 120 amp Spectrum ESC. Man, big uh, uh, six scale servo in it. It has front lights, rear lights, uh, nice tires. Um, it's brushless. It's just awesome, man. That's all I can say about it. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of awesomeness in a box. Um, I was, like I said earlier, I was a little bit reluctant of, of this when I first saw the videos of it. I was like, uh, maybe not. But when I saw it in person, it was just like, yes, I want it. Price is a little, little steep, but you got to pay to play at the end of the day. You have to pay to play at the end of the day. So... We're gonna get this box open, man. Show y'all what's in the box. Get a quick look up under the hood. All that good stuff, man, and, 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 and get out of here. This thing is awesome, I think, because it has the the uh two-speed transmission, just like how the competition's crawlers are. And I like the second speed to be able to, you know, the second gear to be able to go fast and get across the ground pretty quick when you're not crawling. Uh it's not really that good for crawling when you go into the second gear, but when you when you just come going across the current terrain to get to the rocks, you want to get there kind of fast. So with that being said, this is what you need. So let's get this box open. Not a real big crawler guy. I don't know all the specs and all the everything. Um, I like and I like to do my unboxings. I like my unboxings. You know, to kind of, you know, be like a surprise to me too. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do too, too much. Uh, I don't do a lot of uh, research and all that stuff when it comes to my unboxings. I like them to be natural. A lot of people don't like that. They like, you know, for you to go through each and every spec. But me, I like, I like it to be a little natural. Sometimes people sound like computers when they, you know go too much in the detail but some people does it some people do it and they do it perfectly but let's get this big guy out of the box grief this is hard work <laughs> uh, yes 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 we're not going to get into that uh that transmitter well we will First things first, here is your transmitter. It is the DX3E, I mean the DX3. Has all the, um, you know, trims and all the things you need to get started. Uh, I'm thinking this button right here is how you do the, um, change the gear, change, change from, from high gear to low gear. And it's always awesome to have this little thing right here. For the one-handed drivers, that's perfect. Uh, especially for the guys whose hands are not as big, that's perfect to be able to one-hand drive it, steer it with one hand, and, and still be able to hit the throttle and record with your camera. Which I never do that because I always use a head mount. But it's a it's it's, it's a good option to have. All right, see the books. Uh, standard. You have magazine uh, instruction instruction manual. They give you batteries. Double A uh, four double A batteries for the remote couple of horizon cars and they give you a bunch of stickers to you know add, add your own touches on to the car me I'm pretty pretty basic so 
I, when I get mine, I won't be probably won't be using any of the stickers. I'm just gonna keep it plain, plain Jane like it is right here. And here, this plastic off of her. Got up in there pretty good. All righty, we're back. Here she is, man. This thing is beautiful, man. It is a nice, big monstrosity of a crawler. The only other crawler that is this big is the clawback from Red Cat. Um, but the the scaleness of this is just destroying the uh, clawback. But here it is, man. It has... It's a BF Goodrich licensed by BF Goodrich. You got your Jeep license. Um, these these tires, man, are feels awesome, man. They're a nice soft compound. Uh, me personally, I don't like my tires to be vented. A lot of people like that, but me, I don't like to have to when I go through the water and get all the water in there and have to try to get it out and all that stuff. So me, I prefer to tires that's not built, not not vented. But you know, this is just that's small things to a giant. I'm sure Proline or somebody will make a tire to fit this truck. But this thing is nice, man. Nice, 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 nice. A great look. Them BF Goodrich definitely looks good. I'm digging this hex in here. Look like you have to take the actual screws out to get this tire off. But yes, man, it looks awesome. On the inside, I'm noticing, I can see the little man in there and all the seat details. So when I get mine, I probably will be adding him a companion in there and maybe some children in the back because I have kids. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. That's a nice skin. The, the windows are tinted, but you can you see through them. Um, you can see the roll cage in there. Uh, the guy looks like you can paint him because he's bland. He don't have eyebrows. He don't have mustache, anything. So you can paint the guy, you know, Put your own little twist on it. So, let's get under this body. I'm gonna get y'all some B-roll, and we're gonna get out of here. Nice and quick, y'all know how I do it. All right, let's pop this thing off. Get it to the side, right there. Man, this is a monstrosity. <laughs> this thing is huge, ladies and gentlemen. So, getting into it, you can see that you have two battery straps but you only have one lead. So I'm thinking that the two battery straps uh, is for, for like your weight. Um, you also see another battery strap back here where you can have three. Um, but me, that's gonna be a system, a speaker system. <laughs> but yes, you have your two battery, battery straps on both sides. I probably use both. I probably have two 3S batteries in here. So when one goes dead, I just swap the lead over to the next. You have a EC5 lead. I mean, an IC5, I'm sorry, an IC5 lead, the smart lead. Um, you have, this is the 1200 kV brushless motor. Uh, here, you have your two uh, uh, plug-ins for your lights that's on the, on the uh, actual body, the body that comes with lights already in it. Um, here's your servo for your gears, to change your gears right here, the smaller servo. Then you have the bigger servo is up under here, up under this little motor next to the ESC, oh, there it is right there, that's your, your bigger servo is right there, your ESC is under this little uh, scale motor sitting right up under there, that'll be a 120 amp ESC. And man, this thing looks good, man. It looks good, I see, I, lo I love this chassis, um, this chassis layout being so big that you can add a lot of your own touches in here. Like, um, I'm also going to be, uh, not just the motor speaker system, I'm going to be adding a regular Bluetooth speaker in here as well. So I have the motor going and I'm able to hear uh, my music playing. So that's another thing that I want to do. I have to just find me a nice waterproof Bluetooth speaker because me personally, I like to crawl through the water. I like to crawl through where uh, almost the whole chassis is submerged up under the water. Um, that's how I like to crawl. But yeah, man, this thing looks awesome. He has super huge, beefy arms up under here. Linkages, they're, they're humongous. They're humongous. Your drive shaft is plastic gy gyroscopic. 
uh, shaft right here. Um, yes, man, it's it's a lot. This platform is really new to me. Um, I've seen a few other unboxings and they were explaining some of the differences, but I don't like to talk about a lot of the things that I don't know about just yet. Um, I won't be diving into full detail of this this rig until I'm able to get mine. I like to leave some things to the imagination for me to be able to learn, you know what I'm saying, when I get my own. But yes, that's the linkages are humongous up under there. You have some big threaded body, big bore shocks. They're big, it's gonna be hard for y'all to see in there, but they're huge. They're like, I would say, something that could be on a 8S Creighton, 8S Outcast, some something along those lines maybe just a hair smaller but definitely long uh, those bf good wrench tires man they are awesome man and as i'm noticing you know normal normally when you put a crawler down it's hard to roll them but this one is super hard to roll look at that you have to really put force down so i i equate that with the smoothness of how the car is going to actually ride so this is a monster man this is a monster. I'm really, really feeling this truck. Uh, I wish they were already in stock. I probably would have one already. But, yes, sir. It's not much more to talk about. I'm going to get this body back on, get y'all some B-roll, uh, and we're going to get out of here. Hold tight, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen just a quick unboxing of the axial scx6 i appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video don't forget to like comment subscribe dislike whatever you like youtube and uh man it 